Jim, before we go much further, as I said, let me ask you a couple serious topics. This is one I saw this morning, and uh, it's a wrestler I'm not terribly familiar with, but I know you worked with him. An article in Sports Illustrated, or at least on SI.com by Justin Barrasso. After his cancer diagnosis, MLW star Richard Holiday has one goal, oh. and it says halfway through a course of chemotherapy to treat Hodgkin's lymphoma, his sole focus is on returning to the ring. Oh, yeah. You know, I just got goosebumps when you said that because I just saw that on the internet yesterday. Um, in 2019, I did uh, some of the color commentary for MLW, Major League Wrestling, for our old friend Court Bauer. And uh, Richard Holiday, along with MJF and Alexander Hammerstone, was a three-man heel group uh, that they were calling the, uh, they were the dynasty, right? Uh, the rich kids, the, you know, the Hammerstone was the, you know, college jock and football hero type. And, and uh, the other two were the snooty rich kids from the Hamptons and the whole, I, I was just, they were incredible. And obviously, you know, holidays from new England, I believe. And, Hammerstone has gotten a little attention because he uh, is as either currently the MLW champion or he and Jacob Fatu traded back and forth. He's been used as a top guy there. MJF, we know what he's been up to. And I hadn't really heard Richard Holiday's name over the last little while, year, whatever. And then I saw that, that he's already, as you said, um, halfway through chemotherapy for for what if for Hodgkin's lymphoma is which it's a form of cancer. I don't, I can't differentiate one from another. Right. But he's 30 years old. And so I just, my mouth dropped open and, you know, first of all, I hope he's doing well and, and beats that thing. But, you know, just to put it in perspective, honestly, if Tony had been, smart enough or wanted to spend enough money or whatever the fuck it would have taken to get MJF and Hammerstone and Holiday all at the same time for AEW, that would have been his top heel group for still probably. They were fucking great together. They played off of it. They each had a distinct personality and each had a distinct way of speaking and each had a distinct way of working, but at the same time they worked well together in, like I said, the, the, you know, click of fucking snooty modern day suit wearing sunglass fucking, they each had their own personality within that kind of group. And, you know, and, and I loved getting a chance to produce some of the interview segments they did because it was, it was, it was just, you know, ex observing what they would do and say with each other, and kind of the way if they would rib or tell a joke or just whatever, and letting them do that with each other, and then turning and getting to the point of the, the promo, whoever they were going to talk about, and it didn't look so phony, and they each came off as natural, you know, with the. They're laying out by the pool. Hammerstone's almost naked and he's tanning because he's the fucking body guy. And MJF has like fucking Burberry shorts and a fucking scarf on with flip flops, but holidays in a three piece suit at the pool. But he's reading the fucking Wall Street Journal because he was the financial, fi whatever. Or I walked in one time and Hammerstone is doing push ups to get a pump for, you know, the promo, right? And I asked him a legitimate question because I was thinking of another idea. And I said, how many push-ups can you do? And he said, all of them. I said, perfect. I said, there's your fight. There's the intro to the fucking promo we're about to do. So he's doing fucking push-ups and Holiday's reading the fucking Wall Street Journal and MJF is there doing whatever. And MJF looks over and says, Hammerstone, how many push-ups can you do? And he says, all of them. And then they do the, it was just... So anyway, point is that that was a money drawing group, a three man kind of team of individuals that at the same time you could put them in different combinations, you know, with mainstream television and 
some talent to work with, you could draw draw money with those guys. And Holiday's work just he he was the guy in the middle because Hammerstone was visually so big and MJF verbally is so fucking great. But Holiday's work and his talking was just as good as anybody else on the show, if not better. So anyway, so I just, you know, I, I hate to hear something like, and how the fuck does something like that even happen to a guy who's 30 years old that's an athlete that you can look at pictures of him, he's in shape. Um, you know, it just, it can happen to anybody. That's the problem with cancer. It could happen to anyone at any time, and we certainly wish the very best for Richard Holiday. We hope he does get to come back, and also, if he has an MLW contract, we hope he's released from it, so we get to see him when he comes back. <laughs> Shit. But, uh, no, you know, one of those guys out there, and you bring up Hammerstone, too, when people say, like, oh, but who's Tony supposed to have on his roster? There are two guys that would be better than a lot of the other people that are there right now. Yeah. 